Hey guys, welcome back. So, <clears throat> we're turning in with Preston here. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, since we finished Outpost Simonja for the Minutemen, I just gotta find where Preston has disappeared to. Preston One day, Garvey. We'll put this back together. Better than ever. You ask me, freedom's always worth fighting for. I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Hey there. Excuse me. I got a letter for you. Thanks. I guess. Oh. You're welcome. You have a nice day now. Hmm. Old Paul, huh? Alright. I don't know, we might have screwed over the Minutemen quest by taking the castle early. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, for now, let's head over to the CPD. We got some scalps to turn into Lina. You know, Jared can help you get good prices for any loot you're dragging about. And? You want something? I think I've earned a reward. Great. Each one means one less gunner scum polluting the wealth. Here's your very well-earned caps. Anything else? Anything I can do to help out? Just the tattoos for now. Do you have any? Mm. Not yet, but I will. Oh well. You know where I am if you get some. Anything else? Nothing right now. Good. I have things to do. Alrighty. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy there. That was a thousand caps worth of gunner scalps. That was kind of nice. Okay, so old Paul wants to see us. We need to go see if we can get to Simon with the judge situation. I believe... Let's see. That is gonna be up... Need to do Nordhagen. Think he's somewhere? Let's see. Let's take a look here. Where is he exactly? He's way over there. Best I could do is take the slog. And we can Let's head up that way, so we might as well go that way. There's no reason not to, to be honest. And we'll go see about old Paul and whatever old Paul is up to. 
That way we keep focused on Sim Settlements related stuff. Alright. I'm gonna go trucking on this way. Oh, hang on. Did we set these guys up with a... Okay, we got the thing over here, but did we set them up with a city mayor leader thing? No, no. No, no, no. Not that. There we go. Uh... And if I remember correctly, we need screws for uh, outposts of Monja to build them one of these tables. There we go. See, it's not generating anybody from here. It's so weird. Um, that's fine. We'll do that. Yep, make him a leader. That hammer looks so weird. Come on. He's out there. There we go. Sure. Tear it all down. Do whatever. So I'm starting to think the mod might be glitched a bit because I'm not getting new leader choices anywhere. Um, but like I say, I don't think they're developing like they should either. So it's it's hard to say. I don't know. Again, it's a cool concept and it seems like a really expansive mod. I'm just... I don't know not seeing the benefit to it necessarily unless I've done something wrong or out of order but I'm not really sure it seems like for the amount of stuff I had to download for this mod in order for it to work it doesn't seem I don't know quite as proper as you would expect But anywho, we'll just continue on for now. Alright, so that one is working and doing its thing. Okay, we could set up intelligence training if we wanted to. Not good, not good. Oh, thank heavens. That was almost a disaster. Scrap in the Commonwealth, right here. Let's see what you got. Hmm. You don't seem to have much scrap, good sir.
lose some money there. I didn't like that, but that's okay. Yeah, not important. What's important is we get this taken care of. Don't lie, she just scared the crap out of me. Okay, Daddy. Let's take this down a peg or two, shall we? You're all steamed up because you hadn't figured out how to lure her out. I wasn't. Well, maybe. I don't know. It's just not fair, not right. A little friction between departments is normal. You'll work through it. <laughs> well, you sure showed that Meyer Lurk who's top dog around here. Poor Daddy. I just don't think his heart is in it anymore. Well, we better be off to see a man about a rifle. See you later. Okay. That was that scared the crap out of me. I didn't realize there was a mire lurk right there. Um I'm thinking Simon is broken. But I certainly don't see anybody up here either. Here. I'll tell you what we'll do. Come down here. Come all the way over here. And we'll give it a couple hours. We'll wait till daylight. See if he shows up if I'm in the quest area. Viper? What was that? Crazy ass reporter? Hey, look at that. Good, you made it. Judge Bishop's shack is just up ahead. Right, the plan. Walk up, looking unthreatening, but like officers of the law. Introductions, present the book, offer the job, and, uh, and... Uh... All right, let's go. Yeah, uh, come on, let's go. Do, 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 do. So turn yourself around and no one gets shot. I've survived out here in the ass end of the Commonwealth for over 200 years now, so don't try to get one up on me. 
No, ma'am. Uh, but as I, well, we're here to help. I mean you no harm. No one here does, all right? We're just here to talk. I see. I'll just lower my gun and turn my back on you armed strangers. It's great. Keep going. Okay. <clears throat> Ma'am, I'm with the Commonwealth Police Department, and we need your help. We need your expertise. We need Judge Bishop. You need Judge Bishop? Now, there's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Police? Now that's another one. Ma'am, we're building the force back up. But without an independent judiciary, we're little more than vigilantes. And you think that bothers me? Maybe this land needs more vigilantes. Bringing law to the wealth. Might as well try to mop up a river. Your work could be instrumental in freeing the Commonwealth. Oh, that part of my ego hasn't been stroked for a long, long time. <laughs> I'm a decrepit old woman, career and family long gone, living a peaceful life with this great view. What do you think could possibly shift me? Well, ma'am, I did bring you this. Well, I'll be. This is a blast from the past and no mistake. Where did you... We've secured Boston Library, and we're set to ensure our officers know about the law. That book's author wanted everyone to see justice done right. Yes, she did. But that was a long time ago. You understand the word independent, don't you? Yes, ma'am. An independent judiciary would need to be just that. Not just someone to rubber stamp your actions. Yes, ma'am. I'll think about what you said. I'll be checking up on your deeds, and I just might. No promises, though. Now let me have my peaceful view back. You're making me feel old with all these yes ma'ams and ancient books. Yes ma'am. Hope we meet again soon. Okay. You were talking to the ground most of that time, you know the that, right? The people of the Commonwealth deserve to have law and order, to live their lives knowing that wrongs will be honestly righted. Couldn't agree with you more. Excuse me. Wow. Thanks. I couldn't have gotten going without your help. I think that went well? I know it wasn't easy, but you did it. Yeah, I think we did okay. I have a good feeling that we'll be seeing the judge again. Just need to keep the CPD on the right path. Well, thanks again, and I hope we'll see you again soon back at the station. Bye. Hooray, that was... I have no idea what that was, actually. Okay, so... Got that all hammered out. There's... Did we not discover a location over here? That's unacceptable. We need to get a, uh... We need to get fast travel point over here in case we have to come back out this way. So let's see... Then we'll head over and talk to Old Paul. I just don't want to have to run all the way from the slog again. Um, this'll do. Perfect. Now, I need to talk to old Paul, who is up in Sanctuary. To Sanctuary! Loading, loading, lots of loading screens. But 
There, yeah, right. Old Paul, where are you at? Well, hello there, youngin. Does these old bones good to see you again? Keeping safe out there in the waste, I hope? You worry too much, Paul. Worry? Indeed I do. Too much? That remains to be seen. Anyway, I won't keep you too long. I know you're real busy these days. I just wanted to give you this. Here, take it. It's all yours. Custom made rifle, huh? Made it myself. Very special. Should help keep you safe. Consider it a thank you. Not only from me, but from all the people your ASAM sensors have helped. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm impressed. Take care of it, and it'll serve you well. Oh, uh, one more thing. Making that rifle brought back a lot of memories. Made me pine for my gunsmithing days. So uh, I started thinking, maybe I'll build me a new store in one of your settlements. Get back into the firearm business. I'll keep you informed of my progress. Okay, now, I won't keep you no longer. Safe travels. Alrighty then. Okay. Let's see, what did he give me? Wow, 308. Does more damage against Synths. Huh. Not really using a sniper rifle, but hey, you never know. Uh, let's see, what are we going to tackle right now? To read that paper. Hmm. I don't have the paper. I gotta say, I'm I'm disappointed in what they have done here. I really am. I imagine you should really manage at least one settlement by yourself in order to, I guess, get the max out of the sensors rather than letting it operate on its own. I'm just not operating it that way because I don't want to fast travel to the settlement all the time we get something new to test it out. You know, save that until we, you know, for when we, uh... sensor and take all that water because we're running low on health items but I didn't I just don't want to have to fast travel and backtrack to the settlements all the time when we're trying to advance our story so maybe when we get a little bit further we'll go ahead and try and self-manage one of these Right now I was hoping it would set up like supply lines and Good day for a story. Uh <clears throat> nothing, huh? Confused. list. Maybe I looked at it wrong. Ah, there we go. Uh, 
uh, somebody in Good Neighbor, somebody at Oberlin Station, and somebody at Green Top. Okay. Alright. Oh, I gotta go to Green Top anyways, apparently. Hmm. I haven't heard anything from Jake. Oh, I can't get through. What the? Covered over the water with planks. That's awesome. Concord's been doing more than my settlements have. right quick and see if we can talk to this person we need to talk to as well as report our success to them which probably sends us back to Preston and I guess we can head into good neighbor and maybe continue our silver shroud stuff a bit I guess I could tackle one of the DLCs like mechanical menace as well good caps to be made hi oh <laughs> Uh, are you here about the muties? Did Melissa send you? Can you tell me about them? I'm not so sure now. It's pretty cold at nights. Maybe a new jacket to keep me from freezing to death would help to refresh my memory. Let me know if you want some. What? I have to bribe him with a jacket? Just that's ridiculous. Uh, the other person I gotta talk to over here. Were you able to clear out those ghouls? Took care of those ghouls that were giving you trouble. You did? Okay. So that's gonna huh? send me down to talk to Preston, that's fine. In here, anything useful to me? Oh, yeah, we need um, one that ends without an Okay. Back down to talk to Preston right fast. And then I guess we'll walk up to Good Neighbor and take care of stuff there. Hopefully I don't have to, you know, find garbage for everybody that I have to talk to. That's kind of dumb. Uh, bring me a jacket. I cleared out the ghouls that were giving that settlement trouble. Glad to hear it, General. It's hard enough out here without people having to worry about ghouls in their backyard. Got another thing to talk to you about. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Really, Preston? Can't you give me the thing so we can get Radio Freedom up and running? Ugh. And definitely take that aluminum. Fiber optics. Hmm, no screws. 
and I just put myself overweight. Isn't that just fantastic? Puts around good neighbor, I guess. Go see if we can talk to the guy for Alyssa. Maybe do the silver shroud bit. Start trying to clear out our list a little. I think we're getting close to having to do the whole rescue. Yeah. Means a lot to me that you made the library a safer place. Thanks again. Now you're here to trade. Sure. Let's take a look. Everything's guaranteed to last. Until it doesn't. Alright. Okay. Let's see, we need So, where's this guy we gotta talk to? Down in the third rail, it looks like. Okay. Enjoy your stay. Ahem. <laughs> What do you want? Y you look like one of them weak city slickers trying to grease up a broken old man. Uh, did that Alyssa girlie send you? Yes. You have information I need. Uh, you ain't getting my story that easy. How about a little drink to lubricate my pipe some? What? That <sighs> no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I think we're going to go collect our bounty for Shelly Tiller and do the Silver Shroud bit. I'm not in the mood to deal with these people right now. I am aware I could probably buy booze from that bartender, but that's not the point.
shaman. Hey, at least the nightingales are looking out for me. Speaking of, don't we need to go see if we can talk to the nightingales? Wait, wasn't it like right here when I looked at it last? Oh, yep, see? Told you, it was like right here. seeks a special meeting with our hero, the Silver Shroud. Whatever it's about, be careful, Shroud. We're all with you. Galaxy News Radio. Alright. But I have to do it as the Shroud, so... Let's go meet with Hancock. tells me some costume freak is operating in good neighbor and the kicker is it ain't me how should I feel about this this neighborhood is ill I am the cure you're priceless like the silver shroud himself walked out of a comic book into my den just priceless you've been busy scaring people bashing in a few faces I respect that so far but I gotta ask, one freak to another, why the getup? Many have sought to pierce the shroud to no avail. You just don't stop. Stay you, pal. The lowlifes you took out all belong to the same asshole. And that asshole's planning some old-fashioned revenge on you. You dig? Fortunate for you, I want Sinjin to take a dirt nap. He's taken two bit raider outfits and made them scary. Small fish now, but if left alone. 
He will be judged for his crimes. Trust me, he needs a lot of judging. Got a lead on two of his own. Smiling Kate and Northy. Smiley is gathering a posse to take you out. And Northy is just running scared. Hired himself some goons and is holding up in prospect. Just keep piling those body bags up until you find the location of the big guy himself. Sinjin thinks he's above judgment, but no one is safe from the Silver Shroud. Don't get killed. You deal with Sinjin, and I'm inclined to show you some gratitude. You feel me? Alright, that was hilarious. Alright. Well, with that, guys, I think we're at our recording time for today. So, uh, next time, we might go ahead and wrap up the Silver Shroud completely and just have this quest chain done. And then maybe we'll tackle taking on, like, Automatron or something like that while we look for, of course, alcohol and a jacket and blah, blah, blah for all these people we have to talk to. But anyways, I think we're going to go ahead and do our level up now, and we're going to call that an episode. So... I think we're going to go ahead and pile on the medic a little bit further. And that's going to do it for us, guys. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Toodaloo!